Hello and welcome to English lesson number 25. So first of all guys, can we all turn and say a big hello to our friends on camera? And we'll begin with our meditation sequence. So let's find a seat. Straighten our backs. Two fingers. Find our heart center. Left hand on our lap. And close our eyes. And when we're ready guys, open our eyes and slowly come back to the room. Okay? Good. And now we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. Let's begin by, we'll roll our wrists, give our wrists an exercise. And then backwards, go back the other way. Rotate your wrists. This helps if you have to do some writing. Good to exercise your wrists. And then we'll shake our hands and arms. And next we'll roll our shoulders. And can we go the other way? Can we go back? And then forwards. And let's go for the swim. Let's swim. Excellent. And then we'll stand there, hands on our hips. Give our legs a kick. Swap legs. Left leg a kick. And kick again. And next, hands on knees. And let's go down. One. Two, three, and now into a ball. Five, four, three, two, one, and jump. And to finish, three star jumps. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, guys, well done. So English lesson number 25. Does anybody remember what we were learning about in the last lesson? Anybody remember things that maybe we use at home? Or when we want to play a game? Electricity. electricity. Very good. It was We use electricity with all of these devices. Okay, they are called, ready? 
Al ek tron ik. And then devices. V I C E S. Electronic devices. And what this means is things that need to use electricity. Like this marker, is this an electronic device? No. no, it doesn't need electricity to work. Is the television an electronic device? Yes. Yes, because it needs electricity. So there we go. Teacher Wes has given you your first electronic device. Can you remember? T E L E V I S I O N television, television. or TV. TV. So, who can tell me some other ones we let? CD player. Why do we use a CD player? We want to listen to music. CD and then player P L A Y E R CD player excellent computer C O M P U T E R computer DVD. Okay, we have CD and remember DVD. CD player is for music. D DVD is for movies or television. So let's put here next to CD player. CD player. DVD player. How do we spell player? Y E R and then lack out you just M P three teacher Wes does not know MP three C D compact disc D V D digital variable disc but MP three I'm not sure so we'll just say M P three Player. Like, do you guys know? Have you heard of an invention called iPod? iPod. When people go jogging or exercise, they like to listen to music. This is what they use. MP3 player. iPod is a type of MP3. Sorry? Camera. Camera. What do we use a camera for? Take a picture, camera. So let's see. We'll put camera here. Can we remember how to spell? C A M E R A. Camera. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry? Cell phone. Cell phone. Telephone. We'll put that in teacher web in England. We will call telephone in some countries, like I think America, they call cell phone. It's the same telephone, cell phone. Any others? Can we think? What do we use in our daily lives? Any type of electronic devices? I know one light but in the morning teacher Wes likes to drink coffee so I need hot water what do I need to heat the water yes we call kettle kettle kettle, kettle is another one kettle yes can you guys think of any others in your life do you use any type of electronic devices we have DVD player, CD player, 
MP3 player? MP3. Cell phone? Cell phone. Or telephone? Telephone. Television? Television. Kettle? Kettle. Camera? Camera. Computer? Computer. Any others? Air conditioner, excellent. When the weather's really hot and we want to stay cool, we will turn on air conditioner, electronic device. So let's see, we'll put air, A-I-R, and then long word, conditioner. C-O-N-D-I-T-I-O-N-E-R. Air Conditioner. Conditioner. Yes. Washing machine. Washing machine. Excellent. When we need to wash clothes, we need to use washing machine. Washing machine. Any others, guys? Can you think? Light. Light. Okay. Yeah, we've got. We'll have light. Like we need light. Light. Yeah. Fan, excellent. If we don't have air conditioner, we can use a fan. We need the fan. F A N. So you see, what is this? Every day we need lots of electronic devices. Any others? Friends. Sorry. Friends. Friends or people? Are we? Uh, do you mean like if you have? Sorry? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Sorry, did you say fridge? Sorry, I thought you said friends. I'm going to say we're not electronic. <laughs> Refrigerator or fridge? Re. Fridge. Rater. Excellent. We need a refrigerator to keep our food cool. Any others? Net? Any electronic devices? Can we think of any more? Or is that enough? One more, can you think? Maybe in your class you're thinking of others now, but you can't tell us because I can't hear. <laughs> but I think that's okay for now. We've got many. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ways we use these electronic devices. There are various types of verbs that we need to know how to say to use electronic devices. So what we'll do now is we'll look at our PowerPoint presentation to see the various verbs we say to use electronic devices. So guys, all turn your chairs to look at the TV. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation explaining how we use different verbs for electronic devices. And what we're going to do now is we've got a flashcard activity so that we can check students' understanding of the various verbs and how we can use them. So you can see behind me, teachers, what you need to do is print off the flashcard for this lesson and arrange the pictures into order on the whiteboard. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask my students to close their eyes and I will give them one of the verbs and they will have to come forward, speak the verb and then match it to the appropriate picture. So we'll go first. Close your eyes, guys. Open your eyes, guys. So, Pak Bung, first of all, can you say your verb to the camera? Listen. Listen. So, can we remember what picture? What picture do we associate with listen? Excellent. What do we listen to? We listen to... Music or songs, yes. High five. 
Listen, round of applause. Okay, next one. Can we close our eyes, please? Open your eyes, guys. Okay, Pat, come and join teacher. First of all, can we show camera your verb? Take a photo or take a picture. And what device do we use to take a picture? Camera. Camera, excellent. High five. Just say one more time, take a photo, take a photo. with a camera. Excellent. Round of applause for Pat. Open your eyes, guys. Nadia, come forward to join teacher. Can you show camera your verb? Use. Yes. So which picture do we associate with use? Excellent. What's the guy doing in the picture? Using his computer. So every electronic device we use. Round of applause for Nadia. Open your eyes, guys. Pong Pong, come and join teacher. Let's see your verb. What does it say? Turn off. Turn off. Not turn on. Turn off. So what do we think? What picture could it be? Excellent. Yes. Turn off. We see the remote control and the television. And when we're finished watching, we turn off. High five. Round of applause for Pang Pong. <laughs> Open your eyes, guys. Okay, let go. What's your verb? Turn up. Turn up. So let's see, what picture do we think? Excellent, turn up. Here, you can see the volume is almost full. So that means it's turned up. Can you say one more time? Turn up, up. Here we have turn off, turn up. High five, round of applause. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Open your eyes. Who has the card? Chew. Come and join teacher. So let's see. What card do we have? So let's see, let's look at our card. Turn, turn on. Not turn, no, O-N, turn on. We already have turn off, so now we need to turn on. What picture do you think? We have turn off. Remember about the red button? Where's the red button? Can you see? Yes. Teacher Wes will demonstrate. Here, 
we have a remote control. And if Teacher Wes wants to turn on the television, we have to press the power button. So, turn on. Okay, round of applause. Last. Let's open our eyes. Who's next? Down. Why did Teacher Wes pick down? Down. down. Turn down. <laughs> Our student's name is Down. So now, turn down. down. It's Down's turn. So, which picture? There's only one left. Turn down. You see, with volume, if we want to turn up, it goes this way. But when we want to turn down goes this way high five round of applause guys so one final time we'll all speak together take a photo, take a photo. Use. use turn on turn, on. turn, up. turn up turn off turn, off. turn, down. turn down and listen Excellent, guys. Round of applause. So now, before our worksheet activity, we'll just do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up. Okay, so let's stretch up. High as we can. High as we can go. And let's go side to side. Give our spine a stretch. And then we can go down. Touch our toes. Touch our toes. And then let's go high again. This time, can we go tippy toe high? Yes. Okay. No hands on hips. Forwards. Backwards. Forwards. Backwards, side, 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 forwards, backwards, side, backwards, forwards, rounds and rounds. Stop, back the other way, and stop. And to finish, we will do five star jumps. One, two, three four, five. Excellent. Okay, guys, have a seat. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the board flashcards activity, and it's a good way to check understanding to make sure they understand the various verbs and how to use them. Now it's time for the worksheet activity. And what we've got this time is two worksheets. The first one is a word search activity. What they need to do is the vocabulary of the verbs we've already learned, they have to find them in the box and circle them. Then for the next activity is a crossword. Once again, they need to look at the pictures, work out which verb matches each picture and write them in the boxes. Okay? But the first thing you need to do, guys, write your names on the top. And for this activity, because there's two worksheets, I think 15 minutes will do. And obviously, any help that your students need, you're there to assist them. So Nadia, for you, for you down, you're welcome. Pangpon? Thank you. You're welcome. Lakau? Thank you. Okay. So do the word search activity Thank first. You. You're welcome, Pat. Thank you. Prao, you're welcome. Chu? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So let's do this one first, guys, and you can help each other. And then the next one, the crossword. So remember, write your names on top and then see if you can... They can be going in any direction, but they need to be in a straight line.
Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activities where they had to complete the two exercises. First one was a word search and they had to find all of the verbs in the different boxes and also the crossword puzzle. Look at the pictures and then decide on which verb best fits each box. So we hope you enjoyed the lesson. We had a good time here and it was fun learning about the different types of appliances too. So, we'll see you again for the next lesson soon. Can we say goodbye to our friends on camera? Bye-bye.